What's going on fam? It's your boy, the Black Macedonji. So this video, I am so hyped for this video because thanks to Aces and Intel, our sponsors, the sponsors for today's video, we have a new device guys. We have a new addition to the Donchi fam. We have something called the Asus ROG Zephyrus Duo 15. But get this y'all, not only is it an amazing gaming PC, but it has two screens. The device is built with two screens. Do you know what I could do with two? I don't even understand how you're able to even put two screens. Like technology has increased to the point that I cannot even fathom. So today fam, we're going to unbox this bad boy. We're gonna take a look at it. We're just gonna bask in this bad boy's greatness and whew, I can't wait. So without much further ado, let's get to this unboxing. Okay. So Start. Oh my God, this, this got some weight on it. <laughs> Let's look at the specs. Look, where, where are your specs? There, there you are, there you are. So, okay, so we got a 10th generation Intel i7, but if you want, there's also the i9 if you wanna get that instead. Two one terabyte SSDs, so that's fire. So I'm gonna have one SSD for backup and one SSD that's just gonna be on there. That's that's fire, that's great. I always, I always get just an SSD and then a hard drive for backup. Like my current PC has an SSD and a hard drive for backup. So now I'm gonna have the SSD and the SSD for backup on the side, bro. It's gonna be so fast, I can't wait. 32 gigs of RAM, oh, 32 gigs of RAM in this laptop? Like, all right, all right, that's a lot. What I'm used to, like my last laptop had 16 gigs of RAM. And when I bought that laptop, 16 gigs of RAM, you know, you were doing things with 16 gigs of RAM, but 32 gigs of RAM? And I, I do not know. I'll, I'll look at that when I get there. Okay, let's unbox this thing. I can't wait, I can't wait. And see, opening laptop boxes are is much easier because I feel like it's like dummy proof. And me, I'm a dummy, so I need dummy proof things. <sighs> I feel like I, I feel like this is like some secret document from the future. <laughs> like, like what? Okay. <laughs> like, ooh, and I'm guessing this is the charger. Boom, boom. That's pretty much everything in the box right there. Nothing else left it there. So yeah, this is what comes inside the first box. This is all nice and wrapped in plastic. They have another set of the specs on the back of here too. Let's open this box first, you know, save the best for last, obviously. We want to get to this bad boy first, but you know. All right, cool. First things first, Asus power adapter. Nice. And we got the rest of the cable that connects the power adapter. Do we have anything else in here? Nope. But we got the charger right here. So we got that on deck. Need that or else we don't have any power. <laughs> oh man, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Ooh, I'm so hype. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Who gets, to open, who gets to open all of his Christmas gifts, but it's not Christmas, it's November. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, and it rises as you lift it up. Eater, eater. Oh, it, it doesn't work, okay. Uh, ooh, nice. Well, so what I'm really hyped about is that the second screen, if I'm editing and I'm not at home, or if I'm just editing here even, I can use the second screen to put more things on the bottom. So if I wanna like, if I'm editing and I wanna put more windows that has some assets on there, I could put that on my bottom screen. Or if I'm streaming, I could have all my all my streaming tools at the bottom so I could have that and just kind of boop, boom, streaming, uh, streaming whatever is set up, the, my widget is set up or, or whatever. So it's just the multitasking I could do on this is just gonna be phenomenal. And also when I'm playing Tift, I can just have Poor Professor in the bottom and I could use that when I'm playing Tift or, or playing League, like, whew. Oh, this, this is, I didn't even open it yet and I'm already hyped. Okay, but before we get to this, let's take this box out. Let's actually take this out of here. I feel like I'm holding a super future pizza. Got some rules and stuff in here. Yep, the rules and everything you need to know. Oh, and Dying Light 2. So I will just have a copy of, a copy of Dying Light 2. That's great. Well, I guess I will be playing some Dying Light as, uh, when as soon as I can because I have not played Dying Light but I've heard very good things about Dying Light too. Okay, so hype about that. Put you on my lap for now, buddy. We'll get to you in a bit. Ah, this is like a, a place to uh, put my wrist while I'm typing. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I, I need this. I need that. I don't even have this on my current keyboard. Like, and it's, it's soft. It's like, it's not really, yeah, this is soft and also firm, so yeah. Yeah, this, I needed this. I really needed this. Yes, thank you, Asus. There may be more. Nope, 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 nope. That's nothing, Never mind. 
Okay, I, yeah, that looks like, that looks like it. Okay, that box is gone. So, so bad boy. First of all, first things first. Very thin, very thin for a gaming laptop, honestly speaking. So we have HDMI in the back, which I like. I like that the HDMI is in the back. For a desk like this, it makes my life a lot easier. I hate when the HDMI port is on the side, so you have to freaking wrap it around the side, and then you just have this thing poking out your laptop and you're just sitting there tight because you don't want it to be on your laptop, but it's there. We have the Ethernet ports also on the back along with the USB. Uh, there's a Thunderbolt on the side and two more USBs on this side. And on this side, we have three jacks here lit lit so boom actually let me get this plastic off of here what am i doing <laughs> Ooh, ooh. okay okay Ooh. this feels solid like you know when you're you know how you feel when you're carrying like a really a sturdy piece of equipment this feels solid this feels really solid and ooh, i like it and my fingerprints just kind of vanish after yeah dope i like that i hate when the top of my well my top of my laptop gets dirty i hate it i hate it and i like the ROG symbol on the top. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time to open it. It's time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it like right here so you guys can experience this with me. All right, y'all ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Matt, you ruined the moment for all of us. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? Wow, in person? Screen looks a lot a lot bigger than I thought it would. I didn't think I was gonna get a whole bunch of work done on the bottom screen, but now that I'm actually looking at the bottom screen, I I'm I can see myself actually messing around with windows in the bottom screen as if I was messing around with it on like another monitor or something like that. But yeah, no, this is this is dope. Wow. And one thing that's really cool, the number pad is also is also the mouse. So you could actually toggle the number pad if you want to and have that on and then you could turn it off if you don't want to. That, that's mm, man, this is all right, y'all. So I got to turn this on so I can actually show you guys like all the cool features and like show you guys like like this in its prime. So we're going to be right back. We're going to come back. Hi right, fam, we are back. We are back after spending a few days with this bad boy. I, I, I took a break and stopped, stopped recording the video, as you guys know, and I mess around with this computer for a little bit and I'm like, wow, that's the, that's the best way for me to put it, honestly. Like, first of all, first of all, I'm gonna start off with like the quickest thing in this li in the list that I wanna talk about because honestly, this is this is like, to me, when it comes to this computer, this is one of the minor things. In terms of power, this computer's got it. This computer, it, it boots up as fast as you want it to. When it, when it came to editing, which I actually did on this video, um, for this video, when it came to editing, pretty spot on, pretty quick, gaming, easy. Everything was pretty much seamless all in all with this computer. Like it's a gaming laptop, it's a powerful gaming laptop. It works as a powerful gaming laptop should. It's just, it does everything you need to do at a very quick pace, so. Oh, and by the way, all this speed and power is thanks to the 10th generation Intel H series processor that lies within this machine. Now, the part that I'm sure we all came here for, the form factor. When I saw it, I did not think I was gonna like the double screen thing. I thought it looked cool, but I was like, how is this really gonna work? But when actually messing around with it, bruh, it just works. It just works. That's, that's the best way I can put it. Not only is it touchscreen, but at the same time, it just works as another screen. Like I could take a window from my top screen and then put it in my bottom screen. And to me, it's like, for the people, for the creators out there who don't have the luxury of having a dex desk and having like two monitors and stuff like that, this is it. This is your answer right here. You have a mod you have a laptop with two screens, and it, it it's not like this screen is super small. You can still you can still see things on the screen and still work on things on this screen. You can you're still gonna have to use this use this one as your main screen. But when it comes to working, this being a little bit smaller than this does not. I didn't really feel an issue, you know? And this is coming from someone who is used to working with two full-size screens. So, man, like, it, this is the answer. This, this is dead the answer for all my streamers out there who need that powerful laptop that can just do everything. This is it. And one thing that I really like is that Intel actually went around asking creators and gamers what they would want in their dream PC or their dream laptop. And from what I can tell, it looks like they really took that feedback because honestly, this is the creator's answer. As I said before, this is the complete answer. You have two monitors right here. You have everything you need to control. So I'm just really happy that Intel just took the time to listen to creators and gamers and work together with Asus to create this 
masterpiece, honestly. On top of that, it just looks cool, son. Like, it looks cool. It feels sturdy. As I said before, it feels really sturdy. Like, it had a little bit of weight on it at first when I first had, when I first felt it, but then when I carried it around, I carried it to my girlfriend's place. It wasn't that bad. Like, I honestly, not even wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad at all. Like, it felt like I was carrying around, like, a regular size laptop so you know as we know most time most of the times gaming laptops are pretty i'm pretty much on the heavier side but this one not that much not that much it wasn't that bad for me one thing i will say though and this is the thing that they had to do for the second monitor the trackpad is on this is on a really weird part of the screen it's on the keyboard it's on the right side so you kind of have to get used to maneuvering on the right side of your keyboard instead of maneuvering on like the middle when you're when you're using your laptop. So that that's a thing. But I mean, I adjusted pretty quickly. I mean, I still kind of find myself going to the space bar instead of going to the trackpad, but that's a very minor issue to me. I got used to it pretty quickly. And I like that they make it so that it's actually adjustable so that you can actually, you know, hold this button right here and it changes so that instead of getting uh, instead of getting the mouse you actually get the number pad. Ooh, ooh, you see that? That looks pretty. So you could actually press this button right here, right? And right now it's a trackpad and you can press it again. Bam, number pad, it's lit. It's a trackpad, it's a number pad, it's everything. It's touch screen, it's everything. It's everything in one, it does everything you wanna do. But yes, now I have a workhorse that matches my workhorse here and I'm really hyped. I'm definitely hyped to see what else I can do with this laptop. Um, I'm definitely gonna do more on it. I want to stream on it as well on my Twitch. Follow me on my Twitch if you wanna see me stream on that. I also plan on editing more videos on it, like really pushing it to its limited seeing, seeing, it, seeing where it can go so that when I'm on the go, I could also edit videos and also send videos to my dope ass editor and have him edit videos. And it will be a dope ass shebang. We'll be having a great time. We'll be releasing a whole bunch of videos, streaming on this powerful thing, streaming on this powerful thing. Ah, it's like I have two powerful anime characters in in my house and I'm, I'm just enjoying it a lot. I would say if you're a streamer or if you're a creator who's looking to get really serious and you're looking for a very powerful laptop that can, that can handle, it, handle it all, like you're looking for that answer for the PC that you know you do not want to build right now, that you just do not have space for. If you're looking for that answer, this is it. This is it, bro. Two monitors, you got the two monitors and it's touchscreen and the keyboard is mad pretty, son. It's mad pretty. So yeah, that's my opinion on it. But if you wanna find out more on this beautiful piece of hardware, go to the link in the description below and check it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this laptop and shout out to Asus and Intel for sponsoring this video. And with that being said, I am off this. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Be easy, stay lit, stay healthy out there and don't forget, you can do whatever the hell you put your mind to. All it takes is practice and time. Take care, fam.